Welcome to this session on creating a detailing symbol style. So in this session, we're going to create the actual detailing symbol style that will utilize the detailing symbol cells that we created in a previous exercise. So I'm going to go to the drawing production tab and, and there's a create views group here. And if we open that up, that's going to open the detailing symbol styles dialog. So these are some of the de delivered detailing symbol styles and they use the delivered detailing symbol style cells. So we're going to create our own style. So we're, I'm going to select the default style and then there is a copy icon up here and we'll go ahead and copy that. I'm going to rename that as again, XYZ default. So that'll be my company default style. Let me collapse everything here. You'll notice here that there are tabs for each of the various different callouts. So we have drawing boundaries, we have title text, and then there's interior elevation callouts, detail callouts, section callouts, elevation callouts, and plan callouts. So we're going to modify the drawing boundary callout, and that's the, the drawing title that goes on the actual uh, sheet file. And these are the, the various properties that can be defined. So for instance, we could select a particular level we want to put that on. We can define which side to put the bubble on. I'm just going to leave it on the left-hand side. That's pretty standard. There's an underline type. So by text, we'll, we'll make it the length of the text. Uh, we could actually draw it as it's placed. Um, you could make it a fixed length or you could have no line, of course. So I'm going to actually select fixed length and then we'd, we'd define that length. So I'm going to make it six inches and we can define a margin as well. And I'll just make that a 16th of an inch. Now here's the important where we are selecting the cells for the, the terminator and the title, the title text. If you remember, we set up two different cells there. So for the terminator, and this is just a pick list, we should be able to come down and see the XYZ drawing title bubble. And then we can do color by level, by level. That'll be based on our Giano title level and we can set a weight. So for instance, if we want it a little bit lighter, we might set that to weight one. And then the second part is the actual title text. And so again, we're going to use the XYZ title text and we'll do color by level, style by level. And again, I'm going to change the weight to one. And then we'll go ahead and save. Now, if you had modified other graphic cells, the, the section callout bubbles or the elevation callout bubbles, you would just go and modify the various different styles to use those particular bubbles. So we're just doing that drawing title. Text, we've, we've saved that, and we'll just go ahead and close this dialog. Now, if you'd like to test that new detailing symbol style, we could open up one of the sheet models in the current file. So let's go to our models dialog and I'll open up that arc floor plan sheet. And you can see there, this is the current default cell. And I'm just going to use my selection tool. I'll just right press on that drawing title and select properties. And if you see there, um, there's an annotation tab and there's a detailing symbol style again. We have a pull down there and I could change that now to the XYZ default. And it updates that drawing title based on the graphics that we had created earlier. And if we would to go through each of these sheets and change the, those, that would then be the default when a new drawing was created. So I'm going to browse back to my model file where the uh, saved views are. And then in the next session, we'll modify some of the view attributes that actually make up the drawing template. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.